what's up everyone this is Shasha SJ welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back again and today we are going to make another dollar store item crafts where we can make something cool for Halloween so I know everybody are not prepared for Halloween and some are celebrating Halloween stuff in me um, <laughs> okay I just like to do some crafts so if you guys want to do some Halloween stuff you can get this idea and of course I get this idea too as well from all of the crafters and from Pinterest inspired alright so let's get started and let's get into it alright here we go so now what we have to do first is we are going to pour a glue in here. What I have right now is a one fourth cup of glue. And it's on you how many measured that you want. But right now I'm using a one fourth cup of glue in it. And then everything that you do for water or add for water is you just have to estimate it and right now I'm just going to do it that much and then you stir it and this is so awesome guys when you do this with your child or at preschool or at school for projects at home now let's grab our cloth I got this at the dollar store guys so it's pretty pretty cool and then you grab your glue that you have and then you soak this I hope this is enough so we'll see and if it's not enough you can always add for more okay so these are the cloth that we just soaked in with water and glue. Let's put this one aside and let's blow up some balloon. Okay, so I got this latex balloon. If you're allergic, be careful. I got this also at the dollar store. Look at that smiley face in there. We are going to need three of them and I'm going to blow some balloon right now. see I'm going to see if they were the same okay that would be perfect now and here we go okay so that's it so I have this three stick and it's the th two is shorter than the other one just like so because this could be the head and then the hand and you see how and why am I doing that so what I do is I just poke this the taller one goes in the middle and this one should be right here and the other one should be on the other side all right so it should go just like so it doesn't need to be perfect all right so here you go so that's it we are just trying to work it out and there you go that's the outcome and we just have to let it dry okay so let's just wait until it all dries up all right so this one is I got this from the dollar store and I'm thinking of putting the eyeball down here and I'm trying to make it reach where the eyes is facing outside like so I think that should be it 
and the eye should be facing like so just like that as you can see the eyes are peeking in the glass okay I'm going to grab this one I got this also at the dollar store this little trace and if you can use a E6000 glue, you can, but I'm very impatient sometimes to let it dry and cool off. So right now, from this tutorial purposes, I'm going to use a glue gun, okay? So it should be looking like so. So right now, I'm just going to put a glue on here be generous in putting glue in it guys because so that it will hold it the generous you are the more it lasts long and it will hold your project right All right, so now it should be intact and hopefully it dries up faster. As you can see, it looks like something as well, like slimy on it. It's kind of creepy. And next would be we are going to put a glue underneath on it so we can have a little tray just like so. Okay. And I'm going to put a blob of glue in here. And put them in the center. And there you go. You got an awesome tray for your candies and stuff now I'm back here is our dry cloth that we just soaked from the glue and with water so they are dry now and we are going to pop this okay so help me out and pop this one out okay if you have a child you can let them pop it it's going to be fun they would love it so let's pop this together i'm gonna use this one to pop this so all right <laughs> pop the bottom if i can pop it pretty strong i never realized that this is way strong Like this balloon won't pop the bottom one. All right. So can you hear the sound? <laughs> and let's remove this whole thing. Here we go. We can remove this now. And we just created a little stand up ghosties. So, next, what you can do is you can cut a oval shape for an eye, and you all you have to do is just glue it right here so they look like a ghosties. Okay. <laughs> have to be very generous with your glue so it holds it real good okay and it doesn't need to be perfect now your ghost is is 
what I did, I added up a oval shape for the eye. And that's for the eye. And of course, you have to be generous using a glue for that eye so it holds it to the fabric. Okay? So that's it. And there's our little ghosties. I found this one as well at the dollar store and with this one is we are going to remove the tag and try to remove this um, this one it's okay if you ruined it or break it because we are going to break it anyway so you kind of want to use this to dig a hole. It doesn't need to be perfect. Ooh. Be very, very, very careful, guys. It's it's not safe. Okay. So it should look like that, or you can make it more bigger if you want to. But right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to make it bigger. Okay, and this one, this, this one's supposed to light up, but I don't see any lights on it, so I'm going to remove it anyway. This one is, you just have to remove it. You don't need this. Look at my hands, has glitters. So this one, I'm thinking, I'm going to cut this area a little bit wider or something so by close to the shoulder with this outfit that we have okay so I'm planning to cut this area right here so because this one it, it will not fit so we are going to cut this area and hopefully it fits discard this end part and let's make this one closer a little bit to the shoulder area so hopefully be careful when you use the scissors guys okay so this one should fit because they stretch a little bit so hopefully it fit so now we grab our pumpkin and try to tuck your pumpkin in inside so hopefully it will fit like what I'm trying right now I'm trying to make it work gently So now, since we created a mess down here, what we're going to do is we will tuck this end part to this little hole, okay? Just tuck them and if you have a glue, you can glue it to secure it. But I'm just going to tuck it in anyways because we are still going to glue them anyways when we reach our goal. So. As you can see here, you can cut the the longer one, but just leave it if you want to. But I figured I have to stop. <laughs> so then I hold it in just like so. Now you have a nice little awesome pumpkin. As you can see, they were a little bit sparkly orange inside and that's what it is and now if you have a something like this i also got this at the dollar from the dollar store a raffia raffia nature now it's a little bit clean here we still have some glitters around here and what i'm trying to do is i will find those little grooves that we have and I'm going to 
put this little raffia here, nature, and glue them in there. And find the groove of that pumpkin that we early have. Because you can tell the groove of the pumpkin. Alright, so just find that area and cut them until and then glue the end or tuck them in and then do the rest. So I'm going to make it faster so you're not going to be tired watching me the whole thing. So we did the last part and there you go we just did that little pumpkin and we just follow the groove of the pumpkin and we just did it that way just like so and if you want you can use the same stem that you have but I'm not going to use that I'm going to use this one that I have and I'm just going to tuck them inside just like so so they're looking super looking real and first you have to secure the bottom alright so I just cut a felt at the bottom so this is what I just cut I cut a felt in there and you cannot use a felt because if you use a fabric from the cloth that we use here when you glue it down all together it will look bulky as it looks to the bottom of your pumpkin so when you do it this way it will create bulkiness at the bottom and you don't want bulky at the bottom so what I use is a felt okay to hold your raffia so if you can find a stick outside your yard you can grab it and use it but right now this is what I have right now so I'm using it and so it matches a little bit with a raffia as well so I'm going just to tuck this in just like so but I'm going to glue it as well to secure my my group of raffia okay so here we go just tuck them in all in until you reach the ideal of stem that you like and there you go you got an awesome pumpkin i got this at the dollar store as well and what i did is i just folded this way and cut them down on the side everything what i have guys i got them from the dollar store okay so so you know i don't want to spend so much for stuff that it only happens once a year and I grab my raffia again just to hold and tie it down if you have a wire you can also use a wire but right now I'm just going to use the raffia the one that I have just like so And you kind of want to arrange it. Just like so. And you can cut it down if you want. Or just leave it like so. Okay. Then you have to glue it down. The back side of that. You just glue it just like so. I have this paper roses 
and I'm just going to glue it down in there. So I decided I'm going to add this one so they look super, super real. And it will take a minute to make the glue dry. There you go. So now you have an awesome pumpkin. There you go. And that's all we did. Thank you guys for watching Shesha SJ and for staying with me. It takes a while for drying off the ghosts. And yeah, it took me like one night waited for overnight for this and this one are just way easy all you need is just a glue you know the heat one the glue gun and a glue stick of course and this one is just we made this for super fast and easy and it's way cool i like it if you want to dress up your pumpkin it's not just orange all the time then you can do it for under 10 bucks so pretty much if you already have all kinds of those and you can grab it, go grab it and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for watching Shasha SJ. Come back next time and I will see you soon. Bye.